What's up, my dudes? It's almost summer, and you know what that means. It's the time for beaches, babes, brats, and beers. Well, root beers, to be more precise. There's only one problem with root beers. They're difficult to make. You see, you have to get a glass, scoop the ice cream, pour the root beer, and as an American, that's just too much work for me. Coincidentally, in one of my ECE classes, we were tasked with creating a project over the duration of the semester. And thus the journey began to make summer great again by creating an automatic root beer float maker. Initially we came up with this basic design. A cup would be dispensed onto a conveyor and then stop at each station to get ice cream and soda. Luckily we were able to find this cup dispenser on Thingiverse. All we really had to do was design the ice cream dispenser as the root beer was going to be dispensed from a pump. With the help of engineers and residents we were able to come up with this design to dispense ice cream. Having our plans in place we got to work. I began working on the conveyor system. We used this A49A8 stepper motor driver to control recycled 3D printer motors. Basically all you had to do was send a PWM and a direction signal and it would do all the hard work for you. Generate the PWM and direction signal we used in our Duino Nano. After doing a little bit of soldering and hooking this bad boy up to a 12 volt power supply we were able to get the motors to actually move. The next step was to get a track laid down for the conveyor to follow. Using the framing from the old 3D printer, we created the track. The old 3D printer already had a conveyor that was designed to ride on these tracks. However, the base was too small and didn't provide enough landing room for the cup, so we just 3D printed a larger one. We used small switches at the end of the track to stop the conveyor. We made a couple of dumb mistakes with these switches, but luckily Reddit was there to save us. <laughs> we printed this cylindrical ring to help catch the cup when it would fall onto the platform. At this point the conveyor was pretty much done and it was time to meet up with my teammates. So naturally, two weeks before the project was due, we met up and started integrating our parts together. Evan was tasked with dispensing the ice cream. Meanwhile, Marshall was tasked with pumping the root beer and dispensing the cups. We needed some type of user interface, so I worked on that. You best believe we didn't finish the whole project in one weekend. The cup dispenser had its issues. This pump wasn't working how we expected. We forgot how to use pull up and pull down resistors. But overall, we got a lot done that weekend. The weekend before the project was due, we were able to get a hold of these vacuum pumps that worked way better than the other ones. Because the vacuum pumps were 12 volts, we used this transistor in order to allow us to control it using the Arduino Nano. Everybody knows that water and electronics are a great combination and that nothing could possibly go wrong. And besides almost spilling water all over the power supply, everything went pretty, pretty well actually. <laughs> At this point, everything was put together and it was time to start doing tests. As you might assume, everything worked perfectly on the first try and I definitely don't have gigabytes worth of footage of failed attempts on my cellular device. After getting to this stage, it was time to start testing with actual ingredients. So at first we started using water and whipped cream and then eventually got up to root beer and whipped cream. We used whipped cream as an ice cream substitute because we knew how soft it was that the motors would be able to dispense this. We didn't know the torque of our motors, so we didn't really know how much force we could apply to the ice cream. With the successful whipped cream trials of 2019, it was time to move on to ice cream. a minute to take in what you've just seen, I completely understand. Pause the video and get yourself back together. You might have noticed a small leakage that was coming from our ice cream dispenser. It's alright, we already noticed it. In some situations a little bit of leakage is alright, like when I'm peeing, that's completely fine. <laughs> but this is not one of those situations. So we took action to prevent this leakage. We did what any logical people would do. We flex sealed our ice cream dispenser. Can confirm? Flex Seal does fix leaks. Cannot confirm. Health risks. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. I don't know, man. You do you. More importantly, make sure to stay tuned for the next episode of Automate My Life because I'm an American. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.